Hi, my name is Kyle Abraham. I am a dancer choreographer and the current resident commission artist at New York Live Arts. I'm currently working on three new dance works in collaboration with visual artist Glenn Ligon on three works inspired by Max Roach's album, We Insist Freedom Now Sweet. Um, before I get into talking about my creative capital project, I'd like to talk a little bit about um, a work that premiered in 2012, Pavement, which is an evening length work that looks at uh, both the early writings of W.E.B. Du Bois, Souls of Black Folk, as a piece of literature kind of saying, um, this is where we can be, this is who we can be. And then looking at 1991, John Singleton's film, Boys in the Hood, as a piece of literature, kind of, uh, a piece of literature, as a film rather, uh, as a time capsule, kind of saying, uh, looking at what's going on in urban culture and looking at gang violence as a form of genocide. Um, more to that, thinking about my life growing up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and thinking about where I was at in 1991, freshman year of high school, and then thinking about Pittsburgh's rich cultural history with jazz legends like Art Blakey and Billy Strayhorn, and thinking about by 1991, these, these venues that they once performed at and so many illustrious jazz musicians have performed at are now dilapidated. The, the windows are boarded up. And how does that make you feel living in, in the community? Does it make you feel like leaving your community? Does it make you feel like staying and, and building it up in some way, or does it make you feel like society is saying that you are, in some ways, a representation of these dilapidated buildings? till you lose sight of land. Then sink the boat. Do you hear? Sink her! Goodbye, Peter. So that's an excerpt of Pavement. Um, thanks. With this type of work, I'm really interested in community activities and community engagement. And one way that I like to do so is thinking about dance as identity workshop. And another way is thinking about uh, dance as uh, a movement, more or less, as a way of looking at self-portraiture. 
Um, and when I do these types of workshops, when we're on tour, I start meeting a lot of really interesting people and I start thinking about ways that I want to just kind of maybe videotape them and interview them and get a sense of their personal history. Uh, and so when, I, when that idea came to me, I started thinking about maybe the first person I should interview is my mother. So I interviewed my mother for a while and that's when I really started thinking about my creative capital project. Um, and I think it was really through a story that I was having with her, she was giving me and kind of telling me about her college years and talking about a club she used to go to called the Funky Butts. Um, yes, I said the Funky Butts. Um, and the Funky Butts was really this place where people used to go maybe after a basketball game or a football game. Instead of taking a shower, they just went right to the club. Hence the name Funky Butts. They didn't shower. Um, so there was something that was really interesting to me about that because it was just people that just wanted to dance so much and just be in that social environment that led me to think about my creative capital project called The Social, not The Funky Butts, um, and spend that time thinking about social dance and my love of social dance. As someone that started out in rave culture before I got into a dance class, I was just dancing and just moving because I loved what dancing was for me. And thinking about a single person uh, that I was for so many of my life, so many years of my life, going to a wedding, and all I wanted to do at the wedding was just get up and dance because I didn't want to think about being alone. Um, that's something to me about dancing that just is so freeing. And I really want to uh, embrace that as much as possible. And I'm hoping to find some presenter folks on board that we can kind of look at um, venues outside of the proscenium stage, maybe a nightclub, maybe the Elks Club, maybe the Boys and Girls Club of America. Uh, maybe you take me to the club and I buy you a drink. Um, but think about these ways that we can kind of look at social dancing and bring it back to a conversation, but also think about other ways that we can explore um, the vastness of what social dancing is and can be. Um, but that's, I guess, it in a nutshell. Um, hopefully this work will premiere in September of 2016, perhaps, or sometime in the 2016 timeline. So we got some time, we can go to the club, we can have a drink, and we can dance maybe tonight at the party. So thank you so much.